This is Brent of the Brookbush Institute and in this video we're doing some advanced self-administered release techniques. We're going to do active release or pin and stretch techniques. In this video we're going to do the rectus femoris, a muscle that has a propensity towards overactivity in those individuals with an anterior pelvic tilt, some of those individuals with an excessive forward lean, some individuals with knees bow out, as well as those with knee dysfunction. I'm going to have my friend Melissa come out. She's going to help me demonstrate this exercise. Now, what she's going to do is she's going to start with a trigger point roll here. I do happen to like these trigger point rolls. Um, you guys might have noticed those foam rolls, as you get better, they get softer. The trigger point roll has a super hard core, which means as you soften up the foam, it actually gets harder, which is, is quite nice. So I'm going to have Melissa go ahead and get down on that. Now she's going to search her entire rectus femoris from hip to knee and look for the most tender point. This starts just like static release techniques, right? The only difference is this time, once she finds that point of tenderness, we're going to assume that that is a point of adhesion. That adhesion I want you to roll off of by going just distal to that adhesion or just closer to your knee. So if this is the adhesion and this was the foam roll, you're now coming here. And what Melissa is going to do is she's going to start bending her leg, which tries to work on pulling that muscle tissue I am pulling that muscle tissue through the adhesive tissue that's been bound up at that point. And so now we actually have a little bit of fascial glide happening. You do need to use something that is long and flat, right? Because we got to create a block to that adhesion. I'm basically trying to get the muscle, right? As the muscle lengthens around her knee this way, it pulls the adhesion up to the foam roll, and then the muscle fiber keeps going, pulling the adhesion away from that, that fiber. Now if I wanted to be really mean to Melissa, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the surface area. But I don't want to do that by decreasing the surface area width-wise. We still need something that's going to block that adhesive point. So we need to decrease the surface area this way. You guys have seen some other videos where I use a softball. This would not be a case where the softball would work because if we go to a round object, that adhesion is going to hit the round object and then just go around it. So we're going to go to something like a quad baller from trigger point here, which as you guys can see, much, much smaller diameter. All right, so this is going to be a lot more pressure per square inch, which might help us get to some deeper adhesions. Mm -hmm as well as probably being a little bit more painful for Melissa. <laughs> I think she found a spot. We're going to assume that's the same spot that she found before. She's going to go just distal to it so that when she pulls the muscle around her knee, she's pulling the adhesion up to the quad baller and then the muscle fiber hopefully keeps pulling through and we pull that scar tissue away and increase extensibility. Of course, after doing this technique, I would want to reassess. And hopefully we see a reduction in our anterior pelvic tilt or excessive forward lean or her knees bow out or, or some of that knee dysfunction that she came in with. How's that feeling? Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah? So guys, the protocol for this is 12 to 15 repetitions. You're doing two to five second holds at the top. It's actually a very similar protocol to active stretching. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you've already seen the static release video for the anterior thigh or rectus femoris. I would always start with static release techniques, start toning down those trigger points, and then I'd switch to something more intense like these active release slash pin and stretch techniques. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing what outcomes you guys got.